We led in our opening prayer. <clears throat> Sing them over again to me, wonderful words of life. Let me more of their beauty see, wonderful words of life. Words of life and beauty, teach me faith and duty. Beautiful words, wonderful words, wonderful words of life. Beautiful words, wonderful words, wonderful words of life. Christ the Blessed One gives to all wonderful words of life. Sinnerless to the loving call, wonderful words of life. All so freely given, ruining us to heaven. Beautiful words, wonderful words, wonderful words of life. Beautiful words, wonderful words, wonderful words of life. Sweetly echo the gospel call, wonderful words of life. Offer pardon and peace to all, wonderful words of life. Jesus, only Savior, satisfy forever. Beautiful words, wonderful words, Wonderful words of life, beautiful words, wonderful words, wonderful words of life. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, We know that you hear our prayer, dear Lord, and we're thankful, Father, that you are always there. We know, Father, that there is not a moment of our existence that you are not present. And we pray, Father, that we believe and act and do that, which is all according to your word because we want to spend eternity, Father, with you in heaven. Lord, the blessings you give us are so many. And at times, Father, forgive us for when we feel that we're neglected or we're not taken care of or we don't have the strength to serve or we don't hear the word as excitingly as we have always heard it before. You know, Father, that we can be weak. We can be selfish. We can become strangers to each other and to you. Forgive us, Father. Forgive us when we are not acting as we know we need to because, Father, we know we believe to do that. Help us and always encourage us what you do in your holy word which you have left for us. In there we find the calm and we find the strength. We find the peace and we find the dependency that we have upon you. You are our Father. You are God Almighty. You are our Savior. From you, Father, all things come. And we, Father, love you for taking care of us and love you for forgiving us. We always want you to be near. We always want to be close. We always desire, Father, to serve you. Forgive us of the wrongs that we do. For we pray this in the name of thy Son, Jesus Christ. Amen.
The verse that I'll be reading is 2 Timothy 3, 14 through 15. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and have become convinced of, because you know those from whom you learned it, and how from your infancy you have known the holy scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. Uh, if you're following along, our next song tonight is number uh, five, uh, 154, Give Me the Bible. <clears throat> Give me the Bible, star of gladness gleaming, to cheer the wonder, lone and tempest-tossed. No storm can hide that radiance peaceful beaming, since Jesus came to seek and save the lost. Give me the Bible, holy message shining. The light shall guide me in the narrow way. Precept and promise, soul not combining. Till night shall vanish in eternal day. Give me the Bible when my heart is broken. When sin and grief have filled my soul with fear. Give me the precious words of Jesus spoken. Hold the faith lamp to show my Savior near. Give me the Bible, holy message shining. Thy life shall guide me in the narrow way. Precept and promise, song this evening, number uh, 400, uh, Living by Faith. <clears throat> I care not today what the morrow may bring, if shadow or sunshine or rain. The Lord I know ruleth o'er everything, and all of my worry is vain. Living by faith in Jesus above, trusting can Tempest might blow and the storm clouds arise, obscuring the brightness of life. I'm never alarmed at the overcast skies, the master looks on at the strife. Living by faith in Jesus above, trusting can
I know that he safely will carry me through, no matter what evils be tied. Why should I then care though the tempest might blow, if Jesus walks close to his side? Living by faith in Jesus above, trusting confiding in his great love. From all I'm Next song, number 136, uh, Faith of Our Fathers. <clears throat> Faith of our fathers living still in spite of dungeons, fire, and sword. Oh, how our hearts Beat high with joy whenever we hear that glorious word. Faith of our Father's holy faith, we will be true to Thee till death. Our father's chain in prison dark, where still in heart and conscience free, how sweet would be their children fade if they like them could die for thee. Faith of our Father's holy faith, we will be true to thee till death. Faith of our Father's we will love, both friend and foe in all our strife and preach thee to as love knows how by kindly words and virtuous life faith of our father's holy faith we will be true to thee till death. I'm almost going to read my own handwriting to let myself know when to come up here. See, I'll be reading from Colossians chapter 1, verses 9 and 10. Colossians 1, 9 and 10. For this reason, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. This week's a uh, special week for most of us. Um, there's family and friends that are traveled to be here. Uh, we'll spend some time together uh, having a meal, uh, giving presents, um, thanking them for our blessings. Uh, probably of all the holidays, this is the one everyone looks to 
as being special. Um, and the world does as well. Uh, the whole world thinks of Christ during this period of time. Because of that, I wanted to sing a different song, uh, this next song. But I, before that, I want to read a scripture from Luke 2. says this. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth to Galilee, to Judea, to Bethlehem, a town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the child to be born. And, he gave, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them at the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, I bring you good news, great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David a Savior has been born. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you, you will find a baby wrapped in clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angels praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and are on earth peace to men whom his favor rests. When the angels had left and gone to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us. So let us stand and sing. Three verses of number 577. <clears throat> Actually, let's sing all four verses of this, please. <clears throat> Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace, silent night. Holy night, shepherds quake at the sight. Glory stream from heaven afar. Heavenly hosts sing alleluia. Christ the Savior is born. Christ the Savior is born. Silent night, O holy night, Son of God, love's pure light, radiant beams from thy holy face. With the dawn of reaming grace, Jesus, Lord of thy birth, Jesus, Lord of thy birth, silent night, holy night, wondrous star leads thy light with the angels let us sing alleluia to toss our king christ the savior is born Christ the Savior is born. Be seated, please. Our next song is 
627 Glory Land Way. Number 627. Fabulous. I'm in the way, the bright and shining way. I'm in the glory land, glory land way. Telling the world that Jesus saves today. Yes, I'm in the glory land way. Well, I'm in the glory land way, land way. I'm in the glory land way. Heaven is nearer and the way grow it clearer for I'm in the glory land way. List to the call, the gospel call today. Get in the glory land way, land way. Wanders come home, oh, hasten to obey. Oh, I'm in the glory land way. Well, I'm in the glory land, glory land way. I'm in the glory land way. Heaven is nearer and the way grow it clearer for I'm in the glory land way. Rejoicing in his love. I'm in the glory land, glory land way. Soon I shall see him in that home above. Yes, I'm in the glory land way. Well, I'm in the glory land, glory land way. I'm in the glory land way. Heaven is nearer and the way grow it clearer for I'm in the glory land way. Please bow with me. Dear Glorious Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this time that we can gather together as your children, Father, to, to uplift our spirits, Father, that you, that you brighten our days, Father, and this time of, of togetherness, Father. Thank you for this season that we can remember your son, your beloved son, Father, who died, was born on this earth, and then died for our sins, Father. We thank you so much for that great gift that he gave us. We thank you once again for this time together as your family, Father, and we thank you and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Seems like forever since I've been up front here. I'll be reading from Romans chapter 10, verses 14 through 17. And if you ever want to realize and understand what your mission in this life is, I think it's summed up in these verses pretty well. How then can they call on the one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. But not all the Israelites accepted the good news. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our message? Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word of Christ. In just a moment, Mike is going to come forward and present a few words from God's Word. But before that, we're going to sing number 216, He Leadeth Me. And if you are able, please stand. After Mike is done, our uh, invitation song will be number 207. 
He leadeth me, O oh, blessed thought, O oh, words with heavenly comfort fraught. Whate'er I do, where'er I be, still tis God's hand that leadeth me. He leadeth me, he leadeth me, by his own hand he leadeth me. His faithful follower I would be, for by his hand he leadeth me. Sometimes mid scenes of deepest gloom, sometimes where Eden's bowers bloom, by water still or troubled sea, still tis God's hand that leadeth me. He leadeth me, he leadeth me, by his own hand he leadeth me. His faithful follower I would be, for by his hand he leadeth me. Lord, I would clasp thy hand in mine, nor ever murmur, nor repine. Content whatever lot I see, since tis thy hand that leadeth me. He leadeth me, he leadeth me, by his own hand he leadeth me. His faithful follower I would be, by his hand <coughs> and when my task on earth is done, when by thy grace the victory is won, in death's cold wave I will not flee. Since God through Jordan leadeth me, He leadeth me, He leadeth me, By His own hand He leadeth me. His faithful follower I would be, for by his hand he leadeth me. You may be seated. Well, this guy's been singing all day long. I want to compliment Matt and our ladies. They're doing an incredible, incredible work just across the parking lot at North Star. Week after week, Sunday, right in the middle. I mean, you, it'd be hard to find it more in the middle of your Sunday afternoon unless they started at 1 instead of at 3. But faithfully, uh, the ladies have been going over, Matt's been going over, uh, helping them with their singing. Always, always willing to do that. And it shows in the lives of those girls 
and boys. It's powerful. I want to encourage you, next opportunity that you have, go. And you don't have to wait until they say that they've invited us over to do a special worship for uh, even for the parents that, that may come. Uh, if, tell the ladies that you'd like to go with them sometime, ladies, and, and just go and see. I mean, these children have, have not only seen the underbelly of the world, but they've experienced it. And they, they have learned so much. I, I get the pleasure of, of going in uh, two or three, four times a year and, and, and speaking and asking questions. And, and uh, man, just, just in, in, in that, to be able to assess what, what's going on, not being there week after week after week, it, it, to me it, it's incredible uh, how much of these lessons that the ladies are teaching, these girls are soaking up because they are. I mean, they're, they're quick. It's not, when I ask a question, it's not just one hand that goes up. I mean, they're vying for, for who gets to answer. And, and, and that is going to pay big dividends. God tells us that, that some will, will, will sow, others will water, but God will give the increase. It doesn't say God may give the increase. He'll give the increase, and, and we'll see it. And, and this, this afternoon, one of the things that I was, I was trying to share with them, I'll, I'll share with you. Um, there, there's no way, whatever time of the year we might be talking about the birth of Jesus, there, there's simply no way for us to imagine the mind of God. And, and the, this last year, as, as I've been preparing for, for lessons, uh, Lord allowing time to continue to start in, in, uh, in January of this year of, of, about Jesus and, and finding him all through uh, the Scripture, not just in the New Testament. But, but the, the, the more I, I dig and, and the more I look, and, and I want to say again thank you for you giving me the time to do that. Because it, it, it not only is it a journey of faith and, and of learning, but, but it, it takes time, and, and you're, you're so generous with that. And, but the, the more I see, the more amazed I am at, at just the thinking of God that, that he expresses and how he yearns, he, he longs, he longs for us. He loves us so much that intently, intently, he, he, he eagerly anticipates us coming to him. Even the, even the night when the shepherds were in the field and the angels appeared to them, and they're, they're, watch, they're, they're keeping watch over their flock, and it didn't say uh, several things going on there, and you don't want me to speak long tonight. I know traditionally that that singing night is a devotional time for, for me to... It wasn't shepherds singular, it was shepherds plural. And so they've gathered, and, and having been in, in, in that part of the world and, and watched men with their flocks at night, they'll gather them in a place that, may, maybe it's not even a pen, but they'll gather them in a place that, uh, that is... is uh, the easiest place to defend and, and in a natural place, if it's in a town or, or village or somewhere, they, they'll gather in, in an open place, usually around the village well, and, and everybody has their sheep there, and these shepherds will position themselves around, and they don't stand guard at night. They, they sit. They, they, they sit, and, and, and they, they have their arms uh, around their knees, and, and they put their blanket around them. And that's, that's what, how they sleep sitting up. But they're right there, and, and they're protecting. They're, they're watching over their, their sheep. And, and if there's more than one herd there, it, it, our flock, it, it even makes it better because the, the shepherds can, uh, can position themselves all around for the safety of, of, of the animals. And, and, uh, and, and then in the middle of the night, while they're keeping watch, and maybe getting a little bit of sleep when the sheep are quiet, angels appear to them and, and say, don't, don't be afraid. 
Because we come with, with good news. We come with good news. The Savior of the world has been born tonight. He says this is good news and, and there should be reason for great joy. Those, those two expressions used there. The good, we come with good news and, and we, we come with, with a message of great joy. Because the Savior of the world is born tonight. And, and it, how, how close to that it, it all happened. But, but, but the sky opens and, and here is this group of angels that are singing. And God gives us the words of, of those men singing. L listen to this. Glory to God in the highest. Put that up there at the top. Always put that at the top. Glory to God. Everything should be for the glory of God. Keep, keep that at the top. I mean, their song is short, but it's just packed. Glory to God in the highest. Peace among men. Oh, wow. Wouldn't that be... Amazing if we just saw peace on earth. If we just really saw it. Well, now Jesus is going to be the instrument of that. Going to be, he, and he's the one that breaks down the, the barriers. And we know that. But, but the, the second line, peace on earth among men. And then that last thought. God through the angels is saying, I value each one of you. You are highly favored by the Lord. That's the, that's the word is actually there. Now, it may not be in your translation, but that's the word that's there. You are highly favored. Now, I know he's speaking directly to, or, or through the angels to, to these shepherds, but he's not just talking about them alone. Now, they needed to hear this too, but he's saying it to all of us. He's saying, you, every single one of you, is highly favored of the Lord. You are valuable to God. I never got picked first until the Lord came along and Judy came along. <laughs> I was the skinny 95 pound weakling in school. I had visions of grandeur. I've told you about basketball. They let me go in to play basketball. I thought I was, <laughs> you know, I, I thought I, I was Michael Jordan instead of Michael Shero. In my mind, that's who I saw. But in reality, I didn't get the new uniforms. I got the old uniforms because the good guys, the guys that could really play. And, and no one ever made fun of me. But I didn't get to go in unless we were 100 points ahead and there's two minutes left in the game. Impossible for me to lose the game for the team. But they would send me in. And man, when I, when I ran out on that court, I could not have been more Michael Jordan in my mind if I had actually been him. But even the coach, as, as nice as he was, and even my, my friends that I grew up and went through school, from elementary school all the way through college with, good, good guys that I love till, even today, they would not have picked me first. They would not have picked me first. But Jesus is saying through the angels, God is saying through the angels to, these, to all of us, I pick you. I choose to do this for you because you are highly favored. Don't miss that. 
Oh, don't miss the first part. Glory to God. Put it up. Keep it up here. Keep it up here. Peace on earth among men. Boy, that's, that's right here. And, and you have a lot to do with that on a one-on-one -on -one basis or maybe family-to-family -family basis or maybe a little click to another little click. Or, or you, you have an influence on that. In, in, your, in your sphere of life, you can promote peace or, in fact, Jesus said you're blessed if you do. But don't miss the last. And when you hear it sung right now, this time of the year, remember, re hear the message, hear the message. Not, not, the, not the season, we're not talking about the season, we're talking about the message. You are how He's saying, I pick you. I pick you. You're valuable enough to me. You are precious to me. I choose you. Hear that. Because that, that is what the angels had just talked about before, the, before these, these other angels start singing. Good news. Great joy. Because this is what the Savior does. And if you've missed that, you need to hear it. And if you know it already and you are not living that way, put God up here. Keep Him there. Don't ever let anyone else be there. Only God. Peace among men. But remember how valuable you are to God. However we may help tonight, come right now while we stand and sing. Sweet his cry of love and pity calleth, turn and listen, stay and hear. Ye that labor and are heavy laden, lean upon your dear Lord's breast. Ye that labor and are heavy laden, come and I will give you rest. Take his yoke, for he is meek and lowly. Bear his burden to him turn. He who calleth is the master holy. He will teach if you will learn. Ye that labor and are heavy laden need, Upon your dear Lord's breast, ye that labor and are heavy laden, come and I will give you rest. Then his loving, tender voice obeying, bear his yoke, his burden take. Find the yoke, his hand is on you laying, light and easy for his sake. Ye that labor and are heavy laden, lean upon your dear Lord's breast. Ye that labor and are heavy laden, Come and I will give you rest. You may be seated. Our next song this evening will be number 473, Oh How I Love Jesus. During the singing of this song, if you did not have a chance to partake of the Lord's Supper, it has been prepared. Uh, you may exit uh, to your right during the singing of this song, go down the hallway and partake of that. And uh, based on what Mike said earlier about North Star, if you uh, still thinking about going over, I'm going over next week too. Normally I go over once a month, but a lot of the ladies will be out next week, and so I said, well, I'll take it. So I will be over there, and I would be glad to have anybody who wants to go to come with me next Sunday, uh, 3 to 4, over here at North Star. If you want to go, just let me know. 473. 
There is a name I love to hear, I love to sing its worth. It sounds like music in my ear, the sweetest name on earth. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus, because he first loved me. It tells me of a Savior's love who died to set me free. It tells me of his precious blood, the sinner's perfect plea. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus because he first loved me. It tells of one whose loving heart can feel my deepest woe, who in each other bears a part that none can bear below. Oh, how I love Jesus, Oh, how I love Jesus, oh, how I love Jesus, because he first loved me. Good evening, family. I will be reading from 1 Timothy 4, 9 through 13. It is a trustworthy statement deserving full acceptance, for it is for this we labor and strive, because we have fixed our hope on the living God, who is the Savior of all men, especially of believers. Prescribe and teach these things. Let no one look down on your youth, but rather in speech, conduct, love, faith, and purity, show yourself an example of those who believe. Until I come, give attention to the public reading of scripture, to exhortation and teaching. Number 253. <clears throat> How shall the young secure their hearts and guard their lives from sin? Thy word the choicest rules impart to keep the conscience clean, to keep the conscience clean. Son a heavenly light that guides us all the day and through the dangers of the night a lamp to lead our way a lamp to lead our way Everlasting truth, how pure is every page. That holy book shall guide our youth, well support our age, and well support our age. Our last song this evening will be song number 244, if you're following along in the books. Um, Hold to God's unchanging hand. It's a song that's always been a song of great encouragement to me. Build your hopes on things eternal. Uh, and after the song, we'll have our 
closing prayer. I'm going to go ahead and ask you to stand for this song and then remain standing for our closing prayer. And I think we're singing all four verses. Right? We are. Okay. <clears throat> if you have it. Time is filled with swift transition. Not of earth on who can stand. Build your hopes on things eternal. Oh, to God's unchanging hand. Oh, to God's unchanging hand. Oh, to God's unchanging hand. Build your hopes on things eternal. Oh, to God's unchanging hand. Trust in Him who will not leave you. Whatsoever years may bring, if by earth we prince forsaken, still more closely to Him cling. Hold to His hand, to God's unchanging hand. Hold to His hand, to God's unchanging hand. Build your hopes on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Covet not this world's vain riches that so rapidly decay. Seek to gain the heavenly treasures. Pass away. Hold to his hand, to God's unchanging hand. You got a hold to God's unchanging hand. Build your hopes on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. When your journey if to God you have been true, fair and bright the home in glory, your enraptured soul will be. Oh, to God's unchanging hand, oh, to God's unchanging hand Build your hopes on things eternal Hopes to God's unchanging hand Will you bow with me? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity you've given us tonight to sing praises to you. We thank you for the verses read out of your word. We ask that we can take what we have heard tonight and spread the word. We ask you to be with us throughout this week, that we can keep you with us, keep you close to our heart. We thank you for everything you've given us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.